Hello everyone, and welcome to the breakdown video of the 2 vs 5 clutch round video that I posted yesterday. I said I would do this video simply because I've been playing a lot of Counter-Strike Global Offensive lately. I figured this was a good play to break down and to see what really went right here. Now I'm going to go ahead and play this clip in its entirety, so you can watch the whole thing and see what happens in this situation at real time. So now that you've watched the entirety of the clip in real time, I'm going to go ahead and start breaking down each individual piece so you can see what went right in each situation. Starting off, we're going to begin with the placement of our people. Watch this section of the clip and see if you can figure out what went right here. Can you figure it out? Well, what went right here is both my partner and I were positioned at two different entrances, giving them two different targets to go after and making us harder to kill in general. Now it's such a small thing, but it helps in the long run. So now that we have established the beginning of this is correct, let's move on to the next portion. Now what went right there? Well, if you watch the minimap, we went in at precisely the same time. Again, going back to the other point, where it makes us harder to shoot if they have two different people shooting at. So while one person is putting pressure on a different target, I can put pressure on the same target and hopefully kill him and making it easier for us to transition to the next target. After we kill the first target, we push up into the other side of the bomb site to hopefully get a better view of what's going on inside the bomb site. Now let's move on to the next portion. Now this one should be easy to figure out. It's kind of the same as splitting your focus. So for example, I stayed on the outside of the vents, while Fire Knight jumped on the inside of the vents and took out the target that was going to be flanking us from the vents. I, on the other hand, stayed on the outside watching the doors to see for that other flank. Now since we executed this correctly, we were able to take out both of our targets with minimal damage to each of us. Fire Knight took about 20 damage, 28 damage of health, I took about 0 damage of health. Now, let's move on to the last portion. Diffusing. Bomb has been diffused. Counter terrorists win. Good work, guys. Again, this is a relatively simple one to figure out. When going for the bomb, we have one place left that we have not checked, and it's the closet underneath the catwalk. So, I jump down, being already outside, and go into the closet to check if he's there. Luckily, I found him in exactly where I was looking for, and I was able to take him out with relative ease and a little bit of damage to my health. A little bit is uh, probably the wrong term, but, you know, I was enough so I was still alive and able to cover him as he was diffusing. After I took out my target, Fire Knight got onto the bomb, started diffusing, and since there was one person up, I stayed up and looked around for him, so that way, as soon as I saw him, I could call it out and we could take him out. Luckily, he didn't show up at the bomb site, so we were able to defuse and just walk out of there alive. Thanks for watching this end of round play clutch video. I hope you all have enjoyed, and I've really enjoyed making one of these. If you have a play you'd like me to break down, go ahead and message me on YouTube with a link to your demo or a link to your recording, so then I can go ahead and analyze it and tell you what you did right and make one of these videos for you. Until then, I'll see you guys next time.